What's on y'all niggas mind? Fight Club 2-5. We in here, man. Man, this is a follow-up to a video that I uploaded called Eddie Hearn is scared to put Anthony Joshua in with Joseph Parker. <clears throat> Let's talk some boxing, man. Hold on, let me let me sip this. Let me sip this H2O, man, real quick. Okay. First of all, uh, I have an update for you guys. I've come to find out that uh, Duco Events, that's Joseph Parker's promotional company. Uh, they were on board with uh, this stuff that Eddie Hearn is talking about, man. This final eliminator crap. <laughs> they're they're actually uh, open to the idea of fighting on Anthony Joshua's undercard, if you can believe it, man. Um, I admit him fighting on the undercard would raise the kid's profile uh, and build the fight. And uh, but on the uh, but on the flip side of that coin, man. Uh, there's a lot of people already, man, that's anticipating this fight, man. This fight is anticipated greatly. Um, people think that uh, Joseph Parker is unknown, man, but I'm here in Brooklyn, man. I'm in I'm in New York, man, United States of America, man. And and I know who the kid is, and a lot of my peoples know who the kid is, man. So uh, what it does, man, is it, it doesn't help the kid to get in there on that undercard it doesn't help man who who it helps is eddie hearn that's who it helps it doesn't help joseph parker and i'm gonna tell you why first of all first of all you gotta think about this excuse me let's think about this what does it do for the mindset of joseph parker what it does is this it makes him overlook alexander dimitrenko october 1st that fight which uh duco events said that uh, they're going on with that fight and they're open to uh, the quick turnaround and fighting on his undercard uh, Before you can talk about fighting on it on uh, this guy's undercard you first have to get past Alexander Dimitrenko. I'm sure that uh, Joseph Parker will Pass with flying colors man. I'm sure he'll pass that test with flying colors. That's not even a test uh, Alexander Dimitrenko was six foot seven bro let me tell you something about the heavyweight division. You can't look past anybody. That term punches chance, it's real in the heavyweight division, man. It's real when you get in the heavyweight division. Let's think about uh, Mike Perez when he fought Magomed Abdusalamov. You dig? Think about that fight. What happened to uh, Abdusalamov af after that fight? I'll tell you what happened to him, man. Uh, he had like three or four strokes. He had to be put in a medically induced coma, man. Let me give you an update on Abdul Salamov. In 2016, he could not use the right side of his body. He is paralyzed on the right, right side of his body. He could not talk, nor can he walk. And his wife is suing the uh, New York Athletic State Commission. And she has not received any compensation as of yet. Okay? So in the heavyweight division, you can't overlook anybody man and uh <clears throat> them talking about fighting on the undercard man uh that's premature talk man let's get past dimitrenko first that's first of all okay second of all what else you know the other negative is that you put your mandatory status in jeopardy bruh you're putting your mandatory status in jeopardy what if you go in there let's say you fight david price on on aj's undercard what happens, man, if the judges decide to rob you? What happens if David Price is on performing hands and drugs, man? I'm not trying to make allegations or put or insinuate anything, man. I, I'm not trying to say that he's ever done it. I'm just saying, like, what if? You might say that I'm reaching, but stranger things have happened, man. The point that I'm making is you're putting your mandatory status at risk. Anything could happen. I feel like Joseph Parker needs to go and get Dimitrenko out the way and start preparing for uh, Anthony Joshua, bro. Real rap. That's what he needs to do. Um, and I don't know why you guys can't see it. Uh, <laughs> can't see what I'm talking about, man. You know? And as far as his skill set, man. Hold on. Nah, man. 
Yo, I'm out here live on the set, man. This dude just asked me for 50 cent, man. We out here, man. We in the we we in them New York streets, you dig? But let, let me let me continue with the video, man. This guy messed up my flow. But anyway, so like I was saying, you guys are underestimating Joseph Parker's skill set, man. Uh you saw the Carlos Tackham fight and and uh you really, you really getting the wrong message, man. The takeaway from that, like, what did you learn from? What did we learn from seeing Joseph Parker fight Carlos Tackham? I think what you guys took from that fight and what I took from that fight was two different things. I'm gonna tell you what I took from it. I took it. I, what I seen was a guy that, uh, when he got in there with a guy that he couldn't get out of there, like he has done with everybody else. He was able to make adjustments, man. He was able to fight uh, moving backwards, man. He was able to uh, control range and 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 pick his and pick his shots, man. Uh, Joseph Parker has good hand speed too, man. You know, but he was able to make these adjustments and get the guy out of there, man. He got the W, bro, <laughs> and that's the takeaway from that. Marcos Maidana, uh, he fought Floyd Mayweather. The first fight, it was ugly. He teed off on uh, Floyd Mayweather more than we've seen ever, man. We've never seen nobody tee off on uh, Floyd Mayweather like Marcos Maidana did. And Marcos Maidana is not an elite level fighter. But I tell you this, man. Styles make fights. Styles make fights. Uh, we all expected Manny Pacquiao to be teeing off on Mayweather like that. Wasn't the case, man. Styles make fights. I know it's cliche. I know the term is overused, but it does not make it of none effect. It is the truth. Styles make fights. And I do not believe that Anthony Joshua can hurt Joseph Parker. And I want to see uh, what happens when somebody is uh, applying that sustained pressure on Anthony Joshua. It, the same way that uh, Carlos Tackham applied that sustained pressure on uh joseph parker man i want to see what uh aj does man when it's him in there and like i said i don't think he just uh gets him out of there man i actually favor aj in the fight man but it's not a foregone conclusion man and that's the point that i'm trying to drive home to everybody man uh stop sleeping on the kid joseph parker man he's a solid durable heavyweight man y'all sleeping on the boy man He's going to be great, man. Just let him be great. Anthony Joshua, he's great too, man. That's why I want to see the fight. That's why I'm going crazy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's why I was bugging in the last video, man, because I want to see the fight, man. I'm a boxing fan just like you guys, man. Fight Club 25. Subscribe.